Cuba, the biggest island in the Caribbean Sea. Cuba is famous for its communist regime and the country's leader for 52 years, Fidel Castro. The country's politics resulted in a notorious American embargo that has lasted for nearly six decades. Of course, there is more to Cuba than Castro and the embargo. Cuba is known for producing the finest cigars in the world, one of the best rums, its classic cars, and some of the most beautiful and scenic natural wonders a visitor can enjoy in the Caribbean. These are some of the reasons why Cuba has always been such a popular tourist destination for many years. Join me as I spend a weekend in Cuba. Just landed in Havana, Cuba. How about Cuba? That's where I bought my ticket. My ticket was 359 bucks and 80 bucks for the visa. Coming back to the US, no, no hassle either. Um, they asked me, where are you coming from? I said, Cuba, what were you doing there? Went to visit my friends. Baby Fluff, her butt is so big, she has to take up one cheek on each other. <laughs> But we didn't stay in the hotels, I actually rented an Airbnb. Um, found one on, online and checked it out, it looked pretty good. And when we got there, it's pretty much exactly like it was online. The guy name was Louis, he was, he was amazing. Um, it's on the 11th floor, AC, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, for 238 bucks from Thursday through Monday. I suggest that you bring toilet paper with you or flushable wipes whenever you go out on the road because when you use the bathroom out on the road, they don't have toilet paper. And if they do have toilet paper, they're gonna charge you for it. Wi-Fi. Internet is limited in Cuba. You have to buy Wi-Fi cards and then find Wi-Fi spots to use it in. Wi-Fi cards cost about 10 to 12 cook if you buy them from your hotel or you can pay two to three cook if you get it from the locals. You can always tell a Wi-Fi spot because that's where you will see everyone on their phones. The Wi-Fi cards give you an hour access per card. Hello, we're in, what kind of car is this? This is a Ford. Ford what? 56. Huh? 56. A Ford 56, right? I feel like I'm stuck in time. You know, like we're back in the 50s. Like there's some gangster shit we're about to go pull off. You know, rock from liquor store and you know, some banks. Well, my first day in Cuba, their second day, and well, we're just taking a drive in a classic. One of the things you gotta do when you come to Cuba. There's really nothing more enchanting about Cuba than its antique cars, which dot the streets like colorful reminders of an era long gone. In an effort to keep their relics from the 50s and 60s running, Cubans have learned to improvise, hand-built parts and mismatched parts. That Chevy? It's likely to be rolling down the street on the power of a German or Japanese engine. John Lennon loved and admired in Cuba, has his own statue in a park that is named after him. Stop. At 9 p.m. each and every evening, foreigners have the unique opportunity to witness a tradition that began in the 18th century, the firing of the nine o'clock cannon. The saying goes among the Cuban people that if you're a real Cuban, you must have attended the shooting of the cannon of nine o'clock at least once in your lifetime. Hello. Hi. This is us. <laughs> Watch my pull up beside me. Abby. Abby. <laughs> 
Abi. Bum nokat. Yay! Abi! Abi! After the hustle and bustle of Havana, treat yourself to some time in Vinales. Pero yo creo que es muy fuerte. Janelle, unos paqueticos que hace el meguero. Que trae 10. Baby Flop, you're supposed to let it out. Don't, don't inhale it. Yeah. yeah, there you go. You don't fart it out enough. <laughs> Come on, she's so cute. Yeah. Look at those lips. Uh, I thought you didn't know what the hell you were doing. Come on, Lauren. Lauren, you don't friggin' do nothing a while ago. Huh. Suck it harder. No, you have to suck it harder. Jesus, man, I know people pass around spliffing up. I'll pay how much more up on this. We don't got cooties. Yeah, I want the picture. Keep moving up. You have to puff, 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 puff. <laughs> Vinales is a beautiful and lush valley in Pinar del Rio province of Cuba. The tour of Vinales was 59 cook per person. Included in the price were stops at a small rum factory, stops at the Mirador Lookout for great photo ops, stops at a small tobacco farm where they make their own cigars by hand, a walk and short boat ride through caves, a stop at Miro de la Prehistoria, where we had a fairly decent traditional Cuban lunch. So out of all the places that I've been in the world, uh, Cuba is my least favorite when it comes to food. Uh, the Cuban restaurants in Miami are like 10 times better than the food in Cuba. It's very bland. It's just not that good. Normally spend anywhere between five to 10 cook per, on, a, on, a, on a nice meal. We actually ate at a very nice restaurant and the, the, the cost for like six of us was around 62 cook and you can't beat that. Um, so food shouldn't cost you that much in Cuba. Stroll along the Malecon. Spend a memorable evening there. Through the hardship that the Cuban people have faced, they still remain kind, hardworking, friendly, and welcoming. Expect to go to Cuba and make new friends. If for some crazy reason you don't love the white sand beaches, the incredible music, and the interesting architecture, you will most definitely fall in love with the people.